Hey guys, Dream Envoy here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Winds of Change. Last time, we got to the city of Elorinthia. Had to really think over about who we wanted to choose what, between. After we personally made, um, we already gone right ahead and met Vivian, who turned out to be a guy. Not that I, not that I really mind or care. And, um, we also learned a little bit about Dracus and we had to make a really, we had to make quite the decision. In the meanwhile, Sovi got stripped of his status. Pretty cool. Let's, I'm just curious about how Shane would do a better job. I hate Shane so much, but let's continue on with the story. To the ball, I guess. I wonder what if this actually has actual text that somebody written out. Just curious. Like where Glace got this image from. The rest of this looks, you know, hand drawn, but I'm just wondering where they got this text from. Oh, the castle has its own map. Okay, sure. Eventually, we'll have to go to the ballroom and possibly the throne room, but castle front it is. Ooh, it's nice. We actually get to see some grass and trees for once. Evergreens as well. We enter the castle gates, and to my surprise, I see trees like back at home. Exactly what I'm thinking. There's grass too, almost as green as the grass back in Valinorth. I have no idea how Draco got this here, but it sure wasn't cheap. Draco, why did I... Did I say another name earlier? Dracus or something? Well, close. Draco. Wow, this is incredible! I know you said he was rich, but this is crazy. I've never seen such a fancy place. Not in my entire life. Damix steps forward, clearly amazed as well. It's fancy, but not. Oh, well, where are the gates? Sorry, for some reason my focus was on the building over here, not over. <laughs> oh boy. Dominic steps forward, clearly amazed as well. So this is where Dracu lives. Hmm. It seems a bit excessive, don't you think? I prefer our tunnels, a lot more secretive. Alarinthia is all about showcasing your power. Most rulers add a wing or two to the castle during their reign. It's only going to get bigger and bigger with each passing year. Yeah, well the primary function of a castle is to house and protect the ruling power, but it's also a sign of status, so you kind of want to make it bigger in order to show off. Unless, of course, Vivian takes over. He's not fixated on that kind of stuff. Again, I like Vivian. It's just that... I can't imagine it getting much bigger, to be honest. Uh, what does one ruler need to do with all that space? Well, he has a large army as well. Larger than Vivian's. But don't let that sway us. I think you've seen enough to know that this place needs changing. Right, right, of course. So what, do we just march right in? I don't see any guards or security. Again, ball, but still, I would rather... I would think there would be, but... I look around and he's right. Just see a lot of party goers. They're all sipping some sort of alcohol. And he look at peace. I suppose this is one way to stop the people from fighting back. I notice a large man at the castle gates and slowly approach us. He's not carrying any weapons, so I doubt he's some sort of security. It looks intimidating, of course, but that's about it. Is this Westy? I'll take care of this, just like before. We can't risk slipping up in this castle. One misstep, and everyone will be after us. We step back, trusting Alric's word. He takes a few steps forward, meeting the mysterious man. 
Something tells me this is Draco's guard. I just know it. Westy, I presume. That's an interesting name, you know. He hails from the West. It's a nickname for your information. And you must be Ulrich. You sure stand out. Yes. We come in peace, don't worry. We are here for the ball and Draco. Is it possible to request an audience? Hmm. Westy seems... I like Westy's design, his appearance. Ooh, I love that slew, smooth, sleek texture of his wings, but... All right. He's a busy man, you know. Oh my... <laughs> I know that's just the face of his muzzle, but... I got to use his, I got to use that image for the thumbnail, oh my god. So am I, so don't waste our time. Can we have an audience or not? Westy sighs and crosses his arms. Ugh, fine, fine, I'll let you in to see him. He's been expecting you, you know. We've been keeping watch since the docks. Oh my god, and I'm gonna see it all the time over here as well. Oh my god, that face is just perfect. Just like Vivian's man. Yeah, but we let him get to you first. It's not often an army comes here from the mainland. We wanted to hear his offer, so we could top it. And top it? Drake, you wants our army as well? We're starting to become popular around here. We want his army, and he wants ours. Don't let that get to your head, Ulrich. You're just as disposable to him as Vivian. You just happen to be both disposable and strong. I don't like you saying we're disposable. You might want to work on your public relations skills. Yeah. Look at this ball and then say that to me again. That's right, you can't. Now let's get going. I'll be inside the gates when you're ready. I can't take you seriously with that dopey smile. He walks away, leaving Alrick to turn back to us. So it seems like everyone has a use for us in this place. Vivian was probably right. Draco would use us to fight him. Well, that makes things easier, doesn't it? This is going to go exactly like we expected. Let's just help Vivian and get this over with. Draco has a bigger army, but Vivian has a brighter future. And that's what we are fighting for, remember? A better future. It might be a bit harder to win, but we can still do it. Again, I believe I believe in Vivian's morals. I don't like Draco. But the thing is... It's just that a bigger army is really that tempting. Call me corrupt, but... Everybody nods, agreeing with, on this unanimously. Makes sense that they didn't want to fight Ulrich. But ultimately, the final decision would be up to me. This seems to be going pretty well. I hope we're not walking into a trap. Draco wouldn't try anything during his ball. This is about making the people happy, not scared. Let's hear him out and get this over with for good. Sure, sounds good to me. On your mark, Monarch. Yeah, we heard um, Vivian's proposal. I'm not gonna be so hasty until I see Draco. Unless Draco's idea is particularly terrible, then I'm probably gonna be siding with him. They all spread out and start looking around the area. Tomek was right. Everything seems to be going well. We deserve it. After what we went through, that's what I think. It's crazy to think that within a few days we'd be attacking Balteus. We couldn't waste any time. 
we go right after securing this alliance. But I think back to the moment on the ship, when I touched the blade. I wanted it to show me our victory, and it showed me nothing. Pushing forward in spite of that? Was that the definition of hope? That was the definition of hope. If there was anything that would help us in this war, it was that hope. Really? Absolutely nothing? I mean, sure we get some optional dialogue, but... Huh. Well, it's a nice image to say, at least. Oh! Oh, straight to the throne room! I thought that we might have be doing that last, but okay. The throne room is crowded, but full of people partying. Normally, I imagine this would be reserved for Draco alone. But right now, open to everybody, it's almost like a big ballroom. Well, we did see a ballroom in the map, but... Um, I guess it's taking place here in the throne room. A man sits on the throne, watching the people as if it entertains him. Are you sure not a dragon? That must be Draco. I scan the room and notice Vivian in the corner. Since, someone no Since no one knows what he looks like, he must blend in perfectly. He must have stuck ahead of us while we were talking about it. Get the gates. I guess all the pieces were in place. This ball was about to get interesting. I wonder how many people were here were part of Vivian's insurrection. Westy stands beside Draco, and I see them whisper to one another. A few moments later, Draco stands up and down me and my comrades. I didn't notice how tall and imposing he was until he stood up, almost a match for Ulrich. Silence. Hello there. I like your nose horn. It must be pretty hard. Sharp to boop. Boop. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if I like you. His deep voice echoes throughout the entire chamber and everyone stops talking. They turn to him out of fear and await his next room. Words. But I know what they'll be. He knows who we are. And with Vivian, it's like he already he's ready to make a move. His voice doesn't sound that deep. We have those who would disturb the peace among us. Guards, lock the doors. We have some business to take care of. Okay, it is a little bit deep, but okay. I've heard deeper. He claps his hands at once in a commanding gesture. Soon after, a group of people close the throne room doors. Soon after, a group of people close to the throne room doors. Oh wait, soon after a group of people close the throne room doors. They carry no weapons and are disguised as party goers. Now, how should we deal with those who disturb the peace? Watching them starve in the cells doesn't do much for me anymore. Would you have another form of suffering? The crowd starts shouting out a bunch of potential punishments. Draco laughs, clearly enjoying all the horrible ideas thrown his way. I say we hear them out, and treat them in kind. So tell us, why did you come here today? I take a step forward in response, but then Draco looks the other way. Fixing his view at the corner of the room, I realize he wasn't talking to me. Vivian. Everybody looks towards the corner. And Vivian scoffs. Huh, Draco knows what Vivian looks like, huh? Moving forward, he stands in the corner of the room. Draco. You come here on my day of celebration to challenge me. It is an insult to both me and all of these proud Alarinthians. Looking deep into our core, you say we're not good enough. We honor the traditions of the ancients as we should. Without them, we wouldn't be here today. You want to tear us apart. You want to create a nation that's weak, just like the mainland. Well, that's pretty damn insulting, Draco. No, you've got it all wrong. Lack of strength is not a weakness. 
The unity of the mainland. Their shared ideals. That's true strength. You stand here, alone, victim to your incessant squabbling. Vivian kind of has a point. I mean... Yeah, but it's not the true strength, as you call it, isn't exactly going to help us win the war. I mean, it would be useful, it would definitely be useful post-war, but not during times of war. Vivian takes a few steps towards the throne with intense passion. I could tell that this is something he'd ready, really fight with his life for. We yield to no one while they are docile slaves of the Triumvirate. They crush the mainlanders under their heel, who ask no questions at all. Alorinthia is a free land. We make our own choices, and we hold the power. Pro pushes me aside and steps forward, standing beside Vivian. Alric reaches out to stop him, but he's not quick enough. Then help us gain our freedom! All eyes are diverted our way, and even Vivian seems surprised. Hmm. We've come here seeking an alliance. We're not all mindless slaves, you know? An alliance? And what can you offer me? You look as if I could crush you with one hand. I'm stronger than you think. We all are. We grew up alone on the streets of Mazeo. If we weren't strong, we'd be long dead by now. You? On the streets of Mazeo? My apologies. That is quite respectable. You must be part of the Monarch's crew. Yes, and we've come to seek your aid. You keep talking about how strong you are, and help us take down those who claim godhood. Everyone watches in awe. This turns into a standoff. And what do I get in return? Pro steps forward, confidence radiating from the way he moves. I will be your champion, and offer some of our forces. Together we can crush Vivian's pathetic insurrection. Allow us this chance to prove our strength as worthy allies. Bro, I thought you would have sided with Ulrich after discussion. What's going on here? Ulrich, I wish you would have been more open for me. That way I could make a wiser decision. He kneels down, offering his loyalty to Draku. What was he doing? He's playing right into Draku's hand. Wesley told us that Draku needed our army. He's only plain dumb. Draku steps down the stairs leading to his throne. He stays far from Vivian and Pro, but they're now level. What an unconventional turn of events. Vivian, you were seeking a challenge, yes? Yes. At the break of dawn, I will allow you your final night of revelry. And who will fight as your champion? Ulrich. Ulrich versus Pro, huh? Motions back to- or... Or maybe Westy? It depends. He motions back towards Ulrich, who steps forward. Standing beside Vivian, his loyalty is... And stance is clear. I see. Draku, eyes pro, up and down. And what do they call you? They call me Pro, Your Excellence. It would be my honor to fight with you in the Colosseum. I offer my life and the life of our forces to your cause. I step forward, ready to object to these events, but Draku speaks first. I accept your offer, Pro. Vivian isn't worth using my own men, but you lack the authority to make this pledge. He looks straight at me, I ain't the blade on my back. That decision lies with the Monarch. Help me defeat Vivian, and I will offer you my might. Go against me, and I cannot guarantee your survival. This is all happening so fast, but I know that's Draku's plan. He wants us to fight his battle for him. I don't even know if he's trustworthy. But Pro, in his haste, put me in an almost impossible position to manage. If I sided with Vivian and Ulrich, we'd have to fight Pro and Draku. Draku would have our forces as backup. 
Milvivium would have his. That was a fight to the death, so major losses seem unavoidable. This battle would likely happen regardless of my support. So not picking a side would only harm our cause in the long run. Choosing Pro over Ulrich, or vice versa, could hurt our bond. Well, to be fair, I kind of like Pro slightly more than Ulrich. Even though that I technically spent more time with Ulrich if you take into consideration the dream at the beginning. I closed my eyes and clenched my fists together. I needed to stop thinking about this so personally. People will die either way. This is war. It's unavoidable. So the real question is, what kind of future do I want for Elorinthia? Do I want Draco to remain in power? And for things to remain unchanged? Or do I want Vivian to overthrow the nation and ally Elorinthia with the mainland? No, I need to detach myself even further. No Pro. No Ulrich. No Draco. No Vivian. Just Elorinthia. That's all. Monarch, what is your decree? Fight with me and prove yourself worthy of my help? Or fight with Vivian against thousands of years of tradition? I came in here with the idea of signing up with Draku because I needed his army and had the idea that Elorinthia can change afterward. But now that we've, but now that it finally, really, fully occurred to me that Vivian would be dead, it makes me all the more hesitant. Want Elorinthia to change? I do want Elorinthia to change its ways. Well, our main goal is changing the world, right? We want a better future for everybody, not just us. It stands to reason that we should change Elorinthia. But Vivian can't offer as much power as Draku can, and for that matter, I don't want Pro or Ulric to die. This is all so complicated, I'm not sure what to do. Our final attack will be harder if we use Vivian's forces. That is, if Vivian and Ulrich can take down Draku. He's never lost the Colosseum battle, remember? Yeah, I know that Draku would be good for us in the long, in the immediate run. But now, because I was kind of hoping, hey, use Draku now and then we can change Olorenthia for the better later. But now... Now I'm realizing that's the choice that has to be made right now. Like shit. I guess it depends on what we want. An easier time during our assault on Balteus, or a change Alarinthia at our force's expense. There's no wrong choice here, Monarch. Take your time and do what your heart tells you. Our end goal and our purpose will remain the same. Thank you, Domic. I love you, but you already right, but you just told me what I already know. You know what? I have to be frank. I already sort of... Huh.
I need some time to think. I really do. So I think I'm going to end this part here. Next time. I guess I'll make my decision. Leave behind a comment on what you think. Though, to be honest, I'm interested in hearing what you guys would, what choice you guys would make. Even though that I would have already made my choice afterward. I mean, by the time that you guys would even have the opportunity to see this video and put it, and have your own input, I would have already made my decision. Because I'm going to make the decision in this same, um, not in this particular video, but in the same night. Like, I'm going to make it as, because I'm going to record the next video tonight and make my decision then. I'm just curious as to what other people might choose. So, I'd like to hear what you would choose in the comments. And, if you want to see the next video, see what choice I made, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified. If you Otherwise, if you like this video, leave behind it, click that like button. If not, you're perfectly fine to dislike it. Hope to see you guys next time.